So imagine if the lights just went out across the entire country. Across the entire country. Seriously, the power went out and everybody's like panicking. They don't know what to do. There's reports of blackouts happening all over the East Coast. They're going to New York City. So I don't know. This thing might be bigger than I think it is. A that, little panic there, right? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And it seems awfully familiar. That was a clip from American Blackout, a movie airing this weekend on the National Geographic Channel. It depicts the aftermath of a colossal blackout caused by a cyber attack on our nation's electrical system. And our next guest says this kind of thing, not just for the movies, it could really happen. That's right. Eitan Edwards is an expert in disaster preparedness. He also contributed to the film with all of your expertise. So we're certainly glad you're here. We're talking That's about fine. things from blackouts to cyber attacks. You know, the mm -hmm. more we are on online, right, right, the more right. susceptible, I would assume, we are for something like a cyber attack and complete blackout. Yeah, well, you know, that it's because, again, that uh, what's happened is, to a large degree, that individuals now have... Uh, the ability to kind of like interrupt the system because it's a very fragile system and so because everything is connected to the computer networks it's hackable hackable right it's a computer network that controls everything that we do and one individual with the right skills and the right situation sure. can produce a tremendous amount of damage I mean you don't have to worry so much about nations because we're all intertied economically so they it's not in their best interest to kind of screw us up in that respect but one person who has the right skills and the right situation can do us a tremendous amount of damage and they could do something like this. And we're coming up on the anniversary here in the Northeast of Sandy, which was last year, which, you know, we thought we were prepared, but we weren't at our house. A lot of people weren't because when you uh, got in your car uh, to go get some gas for your generator, yeah. you go to the gas station, they don't have electricity, they That's can't right. pump gas. You go to the ATM to get some money, there's no electricity, that means there's no cash. That's right. And, uh, you know, we've got to, as a society, we as a, as a people, even more so, we've got to accept the responsibility that we've got to take care of us. Sure. And we can't really look to government to be this, like, all-powerful entity. It was entity chaotic. That we, yeah, we've got to do for ourselves because these things happen and we've got to be able to deal with it when it, when it, when it goes down. So speaking of which I think given what happened last year a lot of people started to try to get prepared but what do we actually need I started putting bo you know preparedness boxes under the stairs at home right, right, which right. I'll tweet out later on Facebook and see if anyone has the same things but what do we need in those boxes uh, well one of the first things you're gonna need is like having an emergency food and emergency water supply How much? The, well I mean it depends obviously the, the economic situation is such that some people can't afford to do it in one the, gallon of water per one gallon of water per, per person per day is good I mean you know a that's a great thing supply of canned food yeah well a food that you really don't have to cook and prepare because oftentimes you're not going to have electrical power you might not even have gas so you've got to have food that you can actually prepare especially if you live in a city where you can't like you can't use a barbecue grill in your apartment sure. you and can't do these things for and a can opener things. obviously for things like that so emergency food emergency water you want to have emergency radios that you crank with your hands especially in the cities for those of us who live in the That's cities because right. you can't find batteries when these kinds of things happen so a blackout of this size you need to have the staple items that you be able to allow you to support yourself sure. for an extended period of time and not just at three days. Just like a Boy Scout, you got to be prepared. Uh, right. Eitan, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to be watching American Blackout. Uh, he also, by the way, is the author of Preparedness Now. Blackout is going to be on Net Geo this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Sir, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Right. We feel